Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here today with my good friend Marcus James, also a YouTube guy, and we're at the first station, which I've mentioned a few times on the channel. And unlike most days, there is a beer festival currently going on at the first station. And they also do alcoholic slushies, apparently. So we're gonna go and check out some of the craft beer uh, available. And there's some hatches here, Buritanos here. All the heavy hitters in the Jerusalem craft beer world are here. And uh, you buy, the way they're doing it is you get a coupon, JCBF Jerusalem Craft Beer Festival. For 60 shackles, you get three of these tickets, and then you can exchange them at any of the stands. So it's a very cool system. So uh, we're starting out today easy with our Kiwi slushy, and maybe we'll get a chance to speak to some of the guys selling their beer here. So here we are, Craft Beer Fest, my great friend Daniel Rosehill, always with the camera at his ready. I look forward to seeing what he produces out of this. היי, אז אנחנו, אני תומר מממשלת צריגים, אנחנו מבשלים כעשר שנים כבר בירות פרוטיק ישראליות, איכותיות, יש לנו פה את סדרה כאן בקהילה, סדרה שמבוססת על הטעמים האירופאים, טעמים יותר קלאסיים, יותר מאוזנים, ויש לנו את סדרת רונן שהיא מבוססת על הטעמים האירופאים, הטעמים יותר חזקים, יותר עוצמתיים בטעמים, ובירות יותר מיוחדות. Okay, uh, where are you guys based? We're based in the Golan Heights, in a kibbutz named Shur, southern part of the Golan Heights. And uh, what do you guys produce? We brew all kinds of beers. We have a Pilsner, we have a lager, we have a porter, which is our flat beer. We have an IPA, a amber lager, and occasionally we'll do a special. We also have a strong Scottish ale and a wheat beer. We pride ourselves in being local. Uh, we have taps in all the restaurants in the Golan Heights and the Jordan Valley. We have bottles being sold in those restaurants as well. Uh, but we keep it to ourselves. We have a group pub where we serve most of our beer. And we do festivals or events. And that's what we do. So you guys are doing uh, stout and porters. So do Israelis like these kind of beers? Of course. Everybody has their own beer they like, their own go-to. A lot of people like experimenting with beers. Uh, people go crazy for our hoppy beer, which is our brand of IPA. People go crazy for a porter, which is once again our flat beer. And everything in between. Tell us about yourself. What, what is the company called? Uh, Superheroes.beer. You can find us on the internet. Facebook, Instagram, wherever. Uh, commercial beer in Israel, craft brewery. Uh, we almost for four years. We have, each beer has its own superhero, super heroine, which uh, we make. Our beers are each a little bit different. Um, today we brought two special beers. One is our newest super heroine that we brought out about a month ago. It's, uh, it's called Black Lotus. It's a stout with uh, caramel and uh, biscuit and 6% alcohol. The other one is called Kabir. It's a special superhero that comes only for your max mode. 4.8% uh, alcohol, blonde. This year it's a blonde with orange peel. So, Ephraim Greenblatt, owner, you're the owner of Hatch, right? I am the owner of Hatch. Ah, owner and founder. So, uh, and founder. so tell us about what this means for the craft beer community in Jerusalem this festival. So this is actually a really nice event. There are a large range of types of events uh, in the beer world. Some of them are less craft oriented. So if you look around it, you notice there's not a lot of the macro breweries. There's no Smirnoff station. Uh, they're actually selling tasting cups. This is a really cool way for people to taste flavors. Uh, really nice to see calm energy, but fun. Also a really nice diversity. A lot of fun as a brewer, a lot of fun. Uh, why is it only Kalash did you choose to start a beer company? As an American, it was really natural for me to bring like beer culture here. It's something that I grew up with, something that I know intimately. And probably one of my biggest assets is the fact that I can just read beer book after beer book in the language that it's written. Um, so it's really, really fun for me to bring that culture. Israel had craft beer for a couple of years, but the culture was a bit behind um, what the American scene was. Rapidly catching up, but uh, for me it's, it's been a lot of fun just bringing that know-how. Really excited about our new website that we just launched where we can deliver craft beer anywhere in Israel, all over the whole country. 
Library, and we just launched that actually today, and we're pretty excited about that. We hope people will get to experience our slice of beer culture. Your URL? What's that? Oh, You're that's a good point. Hashbrewery.co.il. <laughs> Um, it's here to evolve. Everybody's making their own stuff, everybody's fermenting, and God wills it when the apocalypse, uh, apocalypse hits, everybody will be ready to survive with craft beer. I don't know, beers in space, uh, rubber ducks with hops, who knows, it's gonna be on the supermarkets, we're gonna make events, we're gonna do everything, we're gonna enjoy. First and last thing, you have to enjoy. If you enjoy it, it's craft beer. If you don't, it's crap. May I say crap? I said crap. Hi, my name is Max. I am Canadian. I made Aliyah three months ago and Israeli beer is a little bit of a disappointment compared to Canadian beer and cider. Like, everything is pale ales and they're just pale. Pale ales aren't great. Pale ales just aren't great. We need to have more smooth stouts. We need to have more red ales, more cream ales. And we need to have more apple cider. Like this country is full of fruit. There should be more apple cider being produced. Like good stuff, dry apple ciders. Like that's what we need. Um, I think this festival is great. You know, we're all hanging out. You see all different types of people. I really see. I really see from across the spectrum. You see different people just hanging out, enjoying beer. Um, like he was saying, I kind of wish. Yeah, a lot of Anglo's. I kind of wish that there were like different options regarding trying them. Uh, you know, trying the different flavors. Um, I don't know how they can. You know, kind of kind of recalibrate that, but. I do wish that we could try more. So the first station is absolutely buzzing tonight. Beer fans out, um, got a chance to talk to some uh, local brewers. Um, the craft beer scene is alive and well in Israel. Not only is it alive and well, it's growing and there's lots of excitement here. Uh, so this is a really, really cool event. Oh yeah. 